Bola Tinubu is going to be the next president of Nigeria. A button has been passed on to him. Transition notes will be uh, given to him. Now, I'll be talking to someone who is being in an executive position in this country, a former deputy governor of Sokoto State, His Excellency Mukta Shagri. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining us tonight. Thank you, Shil. Pleasure. Bola Tinubu is going to be president. What are your feelings about what happened today, the transition period this year? Well, uh, first of all, let me say this. Um, all of us in this country must accept and believe that on the 10th to 9th of May, there will be a new person as the president of this country. As far as everybody is concerned, and as far as the law is concerned today, Bola Tinibu, unless the Supreme Court says something different tomorrow, will be sworn in as the next president of this country. That is the position as it is. That has to be clear to everybody. Now, the most important thing is that if Ashwaji Bola Tinubu is sworn in eventually on the 29th of May. He must understand, and the people around him also must understand. He, is, he will be sworn in as the president of Nigeria, which means whatever it is, he will be the president of each and everyone in this country. He will no longer be the president of APC. He was the presidential candidate of APC. But as soon as he's sworn in as the president, he becomes the president of this country. What should we do as Nigerians? What we should do as Nigerians is to wish him well and also for him to do what is right. What will be right, in my view, is that with all the problems that we have gone through during this presidential campaigns and the elections and the rest of it is that it is for him to have a government of national unity, which means bringing people into his government. And let me say this, no matter how brilliant a person is, if he becomes the president, he can only succeed if he has the right team. And the right team may not necessarily be within your party. You have to look outside, to look for good Nigerians who can help you lead this country to prosperity. Now, I want to say this. Nigerians are looking forward to tomorrow. What will the Supreme Court say? It is preposterous and for any person to now take a decision and say this is what the Supreme Court will say tomorrow. Let's wait and Let's wait and see what happens. Let us also wish our country peace, progress, unity, and prosperity. So uh, let's look at, there's something that you mentioned, and the man in which, uh, which got to me, uh, you talked about uh, uh, getting the right team, and you said that this could be uh, if you want to get it right, get people that are possibly outside of this political party, which I'm looking at how easy that will be considering the kind of the conglomerate, the coming together of people who help the Latin who become president in his party, of course, outside of his party too. And there are a lot of uh, former governors in the APC who will be out of job. Some of them will be looking to be part of the cabinet. How easy, politically speaking, for you to overlook, sidetrack, people who possibly helped you to become president? Well, the ball is in the court of uh, president-elect, elect, Ola Amatinibu. Um, it is wrong to think that every person that helps you to be president of the governor must be a commissioner or he must be a minister. People must at any given time have the interests of the nation at heart. There are so many areas in which the president can fix people. They don't have to be ministers. The issue is, if you want to succeed as president, you must have a team. 
I can very easily say that in 2003, there were thousands and thousands of people that helped President Obasanjo to become the president of this country. But he brought in people that are not even members of his party in the government, and, and he formed one of the best executive councils ever in the history of this country. Everybody in this country knew the achievement that was made possible. Do you see that the ability the in Tunobuto? The eyes for talent yeah. is added. A lot of people with credit. I mean, if you look at the kind of people that have been around Bola Tinobu, the Lime Mohammeds of this world, the, uh, the uh, Batone Fashalas of this world, the Fed Bajabi Amelas of this world, the Wali Eduns of this world, these are the kind of the caliber of people, Moise Banere, you got a long list of them who have um, done very good for themselves in their own per career and uh, in government. Do you feel that Bola Tinubu has that kind of knack, just like you're describing uh, Obasanjo? Well, you see, the success story people have been talking about as far as Lagos State is concerned. I think the foundation was laid by Bola Ahmed Tinubu when he was governor of Lagos State. And he was able to achieve that, I believe, because he had the right people. So he has, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not being political in this one, I'm just being honest and sincere. As far as, he, as, far as I'm concerned, he has, the, he has the ability, because he has demonstrated that, to be able to choose the right people to lead this country. The issue is about Nigeria. The issue is about development in this country. The issue is about our peace. The issue is about inclusiveness. And the issue is doing the right thing. If the president does the right thing, from the word go and lay the foundation, you know, for success and progress in this country, we'll achieve it. But I believe that if you look at what has happened, in fact, a lot of people yesterday were talking about the refinery that was commissioned. And people said that it was because of the plan that Bora Ahmed Tunibu, you know, prepared and left behind in Lagos. That is why we are getting all this, all, all, all these things. Considering that uh, if you, two, one or two states, yeah. there are controversies of how they rejected. on how they the rejected, and, and then, and of course, they accepted. So, it, so one can easily say that without fear of contradiction, that I believe he has the ability. And you see, like I said, even if you are the most intelligent president, if you don't have a good team, you not succeed. Bola Ametunibu must understand that, and must have that at the back of his mind. And the people that are around him must also, if they want him to succeed, they must also help him Excellent. to do what is right. Are you, do you, are you a lover of football? I am a footballer. Oh, yeah. What team do you support? Well, I support Don't Arsenal. Arsenal. Oh, Arsenal. no, no. Oh, no. You just disappointed me. Because there is only one team in London, uh, which is... Uh, uh, the team uh, in North London, which is uh, just around Fulham, uh, which you know the team, the best team in London. No, I know. That's it. Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, that's the best team in London. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> that's what I like to know. Uh, but the reason why I ask that question is this there are those football players, those stars, you get them, they, they, they spark in their, in their, maybe in Brazil or in Argentina, in some other countries. You see them as a, as a star to be, and you bring them to a bigger stage than they fail to perform. I see Lagos State as just a, a, a microcosm of a macrocosm, the, the bigger picture. Uh, mate, you might be a fantastic governor of Lagos. Mm. Doesn't mean you can be a fantastic president of Nigeria. Lagos is one unit mm. of an entire bigger Nigerian, mm. uh, two, over 200 million people. Do you see the possibility of being able to transpose that intelligence and brilliance in Lagos on the national stage? Yes, very easily. If you have the right team, like you've said, if you are talented and you are captain of a football team, if it happens that you are the only person that is talented and good, and you don't have the right strikers, you can hardly win any, 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 in, 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 in any competition. But if you have the right people, in fact, it is the right people and the right team, the right strikers and so on and so forth, that will help you to score the goals. So if, if Bola Ahmed Tinubu 
you know, does what he did in Lagos at the national level. That is by expanding what he did to achieve uh, success in Lagos and bring him the right caliber of people, the right people who know what they're doing and mark you people have integrity mm. because the brightest person can fail if he doesn't have integrity. integrity. So if he has the right team and the right people, I believe that he can transform, he, he, can, he can still do what he did in Lagos Excellent. in Nigeria. Let, let, let me manage the expectations of Nigerians. So there is a, now a new law which mandates a governor and a president to be able to transmit the names of his cabinet, his or cabinet members, to the parliament in, in 60 days. That means in two months, we will for sure know those who might be in Bola Tinobu's uh, cabinet. That means in the next two or three months, we will be sure whether Tinobu is means business, isn't it? Is that what it means? Yes. What it means is this. No matter the misgivings we have at the moment, if the president elect after he's sworn in, is able to come out of the team, which Nigerians will look at and say, my God, this is the team that can really make Nigeria better. Nigerians will feel comfortable. So it will spurs, it will give some kind of confidence, possibly. It will give confidence to, 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 to the people of this country. Because what the people of this country are looking for, they are not looking for a person. Mm. They are looking for somebody who can transform this country and make it better. Don't forget, we have myriads of problems mm -hmm. in the area of infrastructure, security, our economy, and so on. You know, our dollar is going down almost every day. We have myriads of problems. Security has not yet been put in the way it should be in this country and so on. So there are a lot of things mm. that Bola Amatinubu is going to face and if the, uh, he eventually yeah. is sworn in as the president of this country. Understood. So the, the yeah. issue is this. Mm -hmm. He must have a team of people that will be able to help him. You know, in that aspect. And I see a lot of Dora Kunjulis of this world out there. There's of course, still a lot many of Kunjo, Iwala, there there's still a lot of... Uh, you have a lot of them abroad, abroad, you have a lot yeah. of them in Nigeria, you have a lot of talents in this country. He needs to throw his net wide yeah. and be able to go out uh, there and be able to pick the best. Yeah. See what he said today. Uh, he said, I must run this race and must do it well. On security, yeah. economy, agriculture, job, education, health and power, and in other sectors, we must make headway. The people deserve no less. In this, I shall, dis shall not disappoint neither them nor you, Mr. President. That kind of speech, yeah. how does it sit down with a kind of person that you are? Well, it's really very encouraging. It's a very encouraging speech that, look, he wants to do the best he can if he eventually is sworn as the president of this country. But the issue is this. I will emphasize on this. No matter, and no matter how lofty, and you know, no matter how good your ideas and programs are, if you don't have the people who have the capacity and the capability and the understanding yeah. and the integrity to implement those programs, they will fail. You see, the economy of this country was booming because Obasanjo had Iwale Konjo. FCT was becoming a beautiful city because he had Nasser al mm -hmm. We were able to send our own satellite into orbit because we have Professor Ison in that cabinet and so on and so forth. So the issue is not just the president having a lofty program and a good program. The issue is his ability also to be able to source and look for people who will be able to get a to job do, done. Exactly, because Without at the end of the day, too much of politics. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Nobody will be answerable to Nigerians other than Ahmad Bolatinibu if he's eventually sworn in as the president of this country. Let, let me quickly get your take on this. Now, uh, there are a lot of those who feel aggrieved. There are a lot of feeling of marginalization, a lot of being left out and all of that. And the, the, I, we went to the election with that animosity. If you were Bolatinibu, for example, mm. What would you be doing on your first day in office to give people confidence, uh, uni, 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 unite Nigeria again? What would you do, for example? I will extend my friends of uh, I will extend my hands of friendship to all, and I will take all Nigerians as one, irrespective of religion, political party, ethnicity, you know, zone, and so on and so forth. Because once you are sworn in as the president of this country, 
you have duty and responsibility to work for everybody. You have to embrace everybody. And he must also have people who will give him the right advice when he has to take decision on any matter. And I believe that, like you said, there are a lot of misgivings about the election, about so many other things, and so on and so forth, and so on, all this. But once finally, even if after he's sworn in, we still have to wait for the tribunal to say what's going to happen. We have to wait for the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Once that is done, even before then, he should start extending his sense of friendship to people. And that's why a government of national unity for him is extremely very important. How is that possible? To form a cabinet outside of his political party? Is that what it means to Yes, be? of course. It has happened here before. If in, 19, that, in 1999, President Obasanjo brought people from other political parties into his cabinet and he stabilized this country. Do you think Bola Tinubu will be able to do that? Of course, he'll be able to do that. What's the difference between, between the two of them? They were all elected, you know? Obasanjo was elected as president, and he knew there were problems and so on, so he was able to bring in people from other political parties into his cabinet in order to stabilize the nation, in order for his government to have a good takeoff. Bola Tinubu can do that. Let me get your, uh, this, I'd like us to anchor on this note. If you were to, I mean, looking at things critically, because I know you have a very strong critical mind, looking at things critically, what area would you want to warn Bola Tinubu about? I mean, for your understanding of governance and government and Nigeria mm -hmm. and his very technical and complex nature. If there's something that you would like to warn him about in getting to office on Monday, should he be sworn in, mm. what area would that be? Well, first of all, he must be very careful. Psychophants. Mm. People who will tell him stories, people who will tell him things that they believe he wants to hear. And one other, also, one other issue also is that he must take the issue of security very seriously. People are still being killed in this country. People are still being kidnapped. Nigerians are still afraid to travel by road. And after that, he must look at the economy. I know that he will be able to bring people who will help him to deal with the economy. But that is very, very critical. Because still, poverty is ravaging Nigeria and Nigerians. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. Forget about anybody coming here to tell you things because he wants to defend his political party. Poverty is, is here. Insecurity is here. Our, our infrastructure, try traveling between here and Kaduna tomorrow. You will see the state of our infrastructure in this country. He has to look at all these things. And he also has to look at the unity of this country. Are we really united? Because I believe that Nigeria today is as disunited as ever. People are thinking differently and so on and so forth, all this kind of thing. He has to look at the issue of security. He has to look at the issue of national unity and try to bring people together. He must, he must really, mm. he must really be mm. careful with, with, with people who will come and tell him stories. He must find another source of getting information about what is going on in this country rather than from just the people around him. And there's a lot uh, to go around when it comes to uh, sacrifancy around, exactly. around people they'll, in power. They'll, 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 they'll tell you everything. There's a, there's they will tell you you are God. Mm. They'll tell you everything is going on very well outside when truly it's not. He must be looking for right. information from other people who will tell him the truth. If you watch his television, we will also be telling him the truth. Well, because we that's so. our role here. We hope so. To speak truth that's to right. power. That's right. And bring government accountable to the Nigerian exactly. people. Exactly. Exactly. People in government are servants of the people. Right, yeah. They are being paid yeah. salaries by the Nigerian people, those who pay taxes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Thank you Dr. very much. Dr. it's always a pleasure having you. Thank you so Former much. Former Deputy Thank Governor you. of Sokoto State. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.